Okay, everyone. Welcome ba 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 back. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to you there, madam or sir. Master or Missy, whatever the darn case should be. G -g 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 Games and more channel here. More Robocop. Spike in a haystack. This was like a two-hour and some uh, gameplay, and I'm going to cut it into a few parts, so let's get to it there. D -d Darn it. Yes, Pickles the Drunk is going to be in here, and that Space Cadet Drunk is going to be in here. You know how this goes. Welcome to today's game. And our sponsor. This is your captain speaking. Please fasten your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Okay. Yes. We are going to continue on with the story. Hope you like these, because this takes me a while to do these sometimes. How come this is the first time I'm hearing this? All right. Mr. Ramirez, the licensed dog walker. Shut up, Captain. All right. You just had a meeting with the... Uh, Dumb, dumb Max Becker about a domestic terrorist. Yeah, that's a domestic terrorist, but I'm not going to do it. Let's get into our painted black. What forest? They filled. Road closed. All right, going to go meet with the old man. Now, Meb, I promised you a tractor when I could find one. This early into the video, I promised Meb a tractor. There you go. Bulldozer. Bulldozer for Meb. Can't get on it and drive it just like a train, but there's one in here anyway. All right, spike in a haystack. Now, where that guy is standing later Damn. on. The old man is waiting for you upstairs. That's going to be significant the is off later to on. Kind of Doesn't matter. Just don't jump. I'm going to change a few things of uh, what I did the last time. And see what that changes later on. They say actions have consequences. Well, let's find out. I hope it ain't so bad that the I... The old man's waiting. So, it's true what they say. You do have some kind of defect. Uh, you have a defect, too. Well, oh! It's good to see you, my boy. Leave us. I want to talk to him in private. You, you have to excuse to me for not getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. Okay. You did exceptional work at the bank. I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. See, I grew up in this very apartment. Or what's left of it. It used to be a thriving neighborhood. Nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city. A new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? You're an old fool. Pussy! Are you asking a machine about dreams? You're selling yourself short, son. Delta City's construction is about to start. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? He's asking for a certain reason, but I'm not going to give it all away. You cannot complain about the life that was granted to you. 
That's very humble of you. The real reason I've summoned you here is because I'm worried. I'm aware of your instability problems, and it's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me, how are you finding your evaluations with Dr. Blanche? Oh, uh, the psycho woman. It helps me with perspective, but it also brings out things buried. That's part of the recovery process. I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is correct. Now we've reached an understanding. Tell me, is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease? Here's where I'm gonna change something. I'm gonna do this a little My bit. My fellow better. officers worry about OCP's intention regarding their work. Really? I'll have a word with Becker. Perhaps some new equipment would boost their morale. It would be appreciated. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. The nurse has got to change his diaper. Take care of yourself. But before I go, After I just want to get this off my chest. Detroit depends on that shit was not my people. fault. Y'all are trash. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Y'all are trash. Holy shit! What was that? Robocop. That was me. Not such a piece of junk after all. Could I have uh, his name, please? Or why can't I hit that guy? Thing. It's Officer Rat. He should be in one of the dumpsters. That's the only place he belongs, if you catch my drift. They're playing with the rookie yet. Right. So much for my field training. Alright, this pickup truck needs a tick a -mit. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Alright, you're gonna meet Pickles the Drunk. Well, you're gonna go see him. He's gonna tell you about the Space Cadet. Whoa, it's getting so cold. Luckily, the previous owner didn't need this jacket anymore. Wear that jacket off the back. Greetings. Waiting for the movie screening. Just browsing to find which movie would most enhance my nuke experience. Here we go. I'm gonna get him mad. If you need experience that will enhance your senses, I will gladly be of assistance. I like trying new things, but let me take a rain check on that. Nah, tell me. What's the next job for the police's finest duo? I need information on Spike's whereabouts. That SOB. I'll never forgive him for what he did to Briggs. Luckily, there ain't much left of the street vultures after the bank heist. They're probably laying low. But now you mention it, I heard about a biker who had a crash near the riverbank just behind the mart. So, your best bet is to check out the scene of the accident, or maybe hit up a nearby mechanic to see if they know anything. Any witnesses? Ah, uh, there's this crazy old bum who hangs out around there. He's nosy. Maybe he could help. You are a fat diabetic bear. You really want justice for Briggs? We owe him. But it's more about Daniel and Gale. And I think everyone will sleep better once those butchers are taken care of. Uh-huh. Are you positive that he escaped on the damaged motorcycle? <laughs> Not so much on it as with it. From what I gathered, the bike suffered more than just a dent. I'm guessing he must have dragged it to some nearby mechanic to get it back in shape. I think Ben's shop is the closest. Okay. 
Well, you could track that, too. Thank you. You have given me all I need. I, I know you're busy, but there's something that I need your help with. I will not be involved in any illegal activity. <sighs> That's very presumptuous of you. I just need help finding a VHS tape in the rental place across the street. The title slipped my mind, and I assume you've got like a database or something in your head that'll make looking for it a breeze. So what do you say? Will you help me look for it? If it helps you stay out of trouble, let us proceed. Yeah, it'll solve all my problems. Let's go! Oh boy. Hello, sir. What are we you are looking calling for? you from the Microsoft. So there's this and movie about a guy with a gun, and there's this bad guy who wants something. I'm pretty sure the title has some biblical reference in it. You lack vital information on the subject. Yes, it's not very Christian like. Who's the asshole? You gotta go to the video store. Start searching. Remember, the title has something to do with the Bible, saints, uh, cosmos, or whatever. Let's start by checking the thriller and drama sections. Should we ask the owner? <laughs> Forget him. He has no idea about movies. He thinks that Salamanca deserved the golden piston for the best picture. I heard that. Thank you. All you gotta do is look through the VHS tape shelf and scan it. Garden of Earthly Delights. Oh man, great movie. Very elegant. Panned by the critics though. But the director is a badass. He personally showed up to one of those ceremonies to accept the award for the worst movie of the year. We do not need to bow to outside pressure. Easier said than done, my man. Everybody knows you never go full guitar. Diamonds are made under great pressure. Wait, do you think there's a diamond within me? Do you see my shine? Uh, I'm just messing with you. That was truly inspiration. But let's get back to it, because that's not our tape. The self-loathing you feel, what keeps you drinking or thieving, is planted by them. No, you're, you're a lying dog-faced pony soldier. Alright, let's go look for something else. We've got the little... Third, uh, the little question mark on it, like that. Damn it! Nothing is good. Gotta be something here. Yeah, that's got a little thing here. Oh, got a movie. Kind yep. Shepherd. Love that one. You know that movie could have never happened. The director threw out the script after reading a couple of pages. Thankfully, his wife picked it out of the trash, and after reading it, she forced her husband to give it another look. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do we? I'm not so sure about that. You brain dead fucking worm. Obviously, you're not going to school tomorrow. You just killed two people in a drunk There driving. is nothing that you cannot come back from. Spoken like a true good shepherd. Anyway, I don't want to spoil the mood, but that's not the tape we're looking for. Nothing in thriller or drama. Okay, how about you check in the sci fi and action section? I'll have a look at horror. My fellow Americans, I have not been entirely truthful with you. I did gigoogity that girl.
Eve's flower. Beautiful depiction of violence in that one. Do you think violence can be beautiful? It's just shown with a different sensibility to what we're used to. Maybe because the guy's European. You know how they are. It's different. It's cool, is all I'm saying. Okay. beauty in something ugly is a unique feature. <sighs> Doesn't pay the bills, though. Then again, I don't have bills to pay anyway. You're a bum! Time to occupy yourself with something meaningful. What are you talking about? I'm a street entrepreneur. I keep myself busy, thank you very much. But we're still missing our tape. Why don't you pay attention? Yeah, pay attention. Get a job! Seems to me that that would be the first thing that you would say. Oh, wrong game. Fucking encrusted testicle, my boy. You look like a double dip. Celestial Decay. Classic. Still waiting for a sequel. But the guy who did that one has never made a part two in his career. But he said that if he ever did, he'd do a sequel to that one. Uh, how do you feel about that? Sequels, remakes, comic book adaptations, etc. Oh, boy. You will respect my authority! They give hope that there is more. Yeah. Plus, you get to meet the characters you liked again. That's why I don't hate them. Anyway, risking to sound like a broken record, that's not the tape we're looking for. I want a Philip hey. pillowcase case with dead batteries. I and think I it. found it. I messed up the title a little. It's called Me Sire, but here it is. <sighs> Isn't that the tape we're looking oh, for? Oh, here we go. Shoot 'em up, bang hey. bang time. What? What tape? You like movies? Do you want to shoot an action movie? I, I think I'll wait till it comes out on VHS. Lights, camera, Did you action. See medical treatment? I need a hand over here. You cannot take responsibility for anything that goes on in your life. Just look who it is! These guys just look all the same. I don't care what uh, crime group they're with. They all look like they're a bunch of inbreds. They're coming from the same breeding ground. Ready for round two? Shark head to vultures. They all look the same. Uh, boy, there's no refunds. You're going to be using that computer later on. Oh. Please be kind and rewind. All kinds of guns drop. No. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna let you out. Let me see. No. I'm locked in. What did you say to me, Mr. Guy? I cannot hear the hater. First, I hear a bunch of movie puns. And then everyone starts shooting. It all happens so fast. You put people's lives Where in danger. Where is Trickles? He ran out the back door. Where will I find him? I don't know. But uh, homeless or not, you still have to give an address to get a membership card. Try the computer. Maybe you'll find something there. 
I can give a phony address. Jeez. Hey, a letter! I have friends! Oh, that's not a letter, that's a threat. Damn it. Now we're a full charge. They, they seem to have those uh, OCP charges everywhere. There we go. Use the computer. John Pickles. That's what he put his library card under. I don't have a driver's license, but I got a library card. See you in hell. Yes, now they're letting me out. Oh boy. Now you're gonna go visit Pickles at his dump. But you gotta figure out which garage you need. If you start with the one on the far left, it becomes this one. That's how they do it. Door number two? Nope. Door number three. There we go. And this sounds like somebody's vomiting. You're all right. Talk. Ah, uh, I overheard some torchhead saying that they were running away from the cops and went through that video store. They had a wad of drug money on them and didn't want the cops taking it, so they hid it in one of the VHS cases. I misheard the title, so I needed help. You used me. Way to go, a-hole! You need much more help than that. We all got problems. I, I fucked up, I know. And I get that you're on a mission to save my life or something. With all that great advice of yours, diamonds are made under great pressure. I'm not a fucking diamond, okay? I'm a junkie. There's just one thing that I need right now. Which is? All I need right now is a fix. So, let me keep the money. You won't hear me asking about anything else. Are you asking a police officer to leave you with money from Nuke Distribution? I know you're a police officer first, but can't you be a friend this one fucking time? Nope. I'm gonna pee him off. I am not doing this as a police officer. I am doing it as a friend. Hand over the case. You, you can't do this to me, man. I just did. That's Fuck too you, bad. Tin Man. I earned that money fair and square. No, you didn't. He, he helped you. Okay, if you're watching this far into the video, I thank you for that. I hope you enjoy my videos as much as I enjoy making them. As always, we'll make more. Don't be shy. Please like and subscribe. Here we go, another radio commercial. City Hall is the decaying symbol of mismanagement and corruption. Detroit deserves a fresh start. And the only way to achieve that is to take the city private. Delta City, for our children. Now sometimes, it's that bike there that you gotta... Get her spike. I'm telling you, she was looking straight at me like I was the only man on the planet. I All right, know. let's go visit the space cadet first. And then it's the tattoo guy, and then it's the guy uh, running for mayor. Yeah, and this here is going to play a part later on too. This is the tunnel no where they have a bomb. 
They're just trying to depopulate our species. What I say, space cadet? <laughs> you knew it had poison in it. Now I'm sure you're no ordinary rat. Where'd you go, you little? You're a thief! Good day, citizen. A rightful citizen of Earth, to be precise. Aliens are swarming and killing us, and the police are not doing anything about it! We're all doomed! An accident happened here recently. It involved a motorcycle. I saw it with my own eyes. I've recorded the whole thing in my research notes so I wouldn't get mixed up. See, there are so many conspiracies happening in this city. The only trouble is, those notes are locked inside my residence, and I can't seem to get the door open. Would you mind helping me with it? Oh, you locked yourself out of your trail, huh? It's, it's the one right over there. I think it's if you give them stuff. doors enough of a pull, they'll open. Be gentle with it. I put a lot of blood, sweat, and alien tears into that pen. Be gentle with it. Crunch. That's it. Now let's have a look. Mm, yes, yes. We're not done yet. I, I, I remember now. Be closed. I remember. That biker wasn't even trying to hide his alien heritage. His body had tattoos from a parlor nearby, and one of them looked rather fresh. Now I know where to go next. Thank you for your cooperation. You're going already? I've got more information about alien shenanigans if you care to hear. How can you tell that the tattoo design matched the ones from the parlor? I've noticed that lots of aliens like to mark themselves with specific signs from that shop, so they can be easily recognized by their kin. I went there many times pretending to be window shopping, <laughs> but I've managed to copy all their secret symbols. And that biker's tattoo was one of them. The skin around it was pretty red, so I'm sure it must have been done very recently. Yeah, that's what you said the last time. Why do you suspect the fugitive is an alien? He looked really mean. He had a horn. And that, together with his chunky body covered in tattoos, made him look like some kind of hellish narwhal. If you read my newsletter, number 28, You'd know that all sea creatures are otherworldly. That is why I don't eat sweet corn. Okay. Put them up your ass. That. That's what it does. Can you tell me about other matters besetting the town? Sure. Can do. For starters, cats are aliens too. One of them can predict lottery numbers. He can be found near the gas station. And there's this woman who feeds all the stray cats. She must be one of the higher-ups in the alien hierarchy. Also, I've heard some aliens use the VHS store to hide treasure. And last but not least, I've heard that some of them are planning to take over the courthouse. I'm sure you would never allow for that extraterrestrial scum to judge us. That'll be in the next video. About the courthouse. I have what I need. Stay safe, citizen. You're off to the tattoo shop? But just make sure not to get inked. Those designs are very alluring. When they start talking to you, just cover your ears and start singing. It really helps! Okay. Going to the tattoo shop, not getting a tattoo. This guy's a jerk. Full metal armor and you still want piercings. Hey, respect. I am not here for that. A tattoo then. It'll really bring out that jawline.
have consequences as well. How about I bring out your jawline? Hey man, no pressure. I was just trying to be helpful. Anyway, if you're not here for inking, what do you want? A biker called Spike. I heard he was your customer. I don't serve no bikers. Don't know who told you that, but it's a load of bull. Are you denying making tattoos for the street vultures? <laughs> You've got no proof, cop. Now stay off my case. I need to get back to my work. You're a joy. It's payback time, you phasing son of a bitch. I scan thing. Huh, looks like a, some biker stuff to me. What next? You gonna try to tell me that I'm smuggling nuke in a red inker? Do you? You still here? I don't want my customers to confuse my parlor for an auto shop. Oh, shut up, boy. You could go. I I gotta look at that. See about going to Ben the next time I I do this. Here we go. There's some evidence there. I found evidence of your connections to the biker gang. Nah, I'm not telling you nothing, cop. Spike and what is left of the street vultures are going down. It is your choice if you want to join them. Ah, fuck. I told him not to come in here when he was so hot. He brought this on himself. Where is he? Uh, he's got a place nearby somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. I am afraid this information is too vague. His motorcycle must be parked outside. It's some sort of chopper. I don't know. You can check the plate number on that photo. Wise choice for a scum artist. Ugh. I can't concentrate with all those reflections bouncing off your armor. Oh, shut up, man. You complain worse than an old lady. Hey, Robocop. Mr. Mills would like to have a word. Oh, uh, here He's we go. Dumb, dumb Mills. Come on, come on. Oh, I'm coming! It is an honor to finally meet the hero of the city in person. It's a shame that our basketball team can't fill us with similar pride. Yeah, just lost to Atlanta. Some say it's because of a lack of team players. Do you think it's that important? Being a team player? No. Not every team is worth joining. You have a very multifaceted outlook. Impressive. As for me, I have always valued team play. That was the way things were when my parents worked for the city. My grandfather used to tell me that this neighborhood was a great place for an evening stroll. Now it's different. Kuzak allows the city to be taken over by criminals. He can't stop it because he's not a team player. He fails to realize that OCP has given this city its most precious treasure. You. I want to work with you and OCP to improve this city. I want to take care of your interests. It's about time someone did. But to make it a reality, we would need your support. So, what do you think about getting involved in politics? Do I look like a politician? No. I follow politics, but I do not take sides. So you allow others to use you? Becoming a pawn, you are the symbol of the city. Everything you do, everything you say has a political impact. No matter if you talk privately or publicly, you should choose what you want to represent. Incompetence and unaccountability or partnership and determination. Only one of these paths leads Detroit to its former glory. You say you wouldn't join every team. So? Let's create a team that you would want to be a part of. We have a common goal. Together, it will be easier to achieve it. Oh, you'll have to forgive me. We're already late for another meeting. Now think about what we've discussed. About what we could do for the city. Together, as a team. 
I count on your support. All right. Is this the right button? Can it hear me? Yes, sir. He can hear you. Hey, Silver Boy. The tracker says you were near the apartment of that domestic terrorist we talked about. Your memory is probably glitchy, so I figured I'd send you a friendly reminder. Check the place out. How do you guys end these? Over and out? There's no need... Over and out. Ugh. You're stupid. All right, domestic terrorist. Uh, yeah. I don't want to do that. Yes. But. We should vote Kuzak. Somebody you know. Suit. He knows nothing about ordinary people. Somebody you know. I'm going to go downstairs for a minute. He was talking about the cats. There you go. Stop feeding the cats in the basement. <laughs> yep. The space cadet was talking about the cat lady. There you go. Daddy, Oop. what was that? Go back that to was the a boogeyman. Just someone on the staircase. Look at all the graffiti on the wall. Alright. This is... Somebody safe out. I can't see how the apartment is as big as it really is. Another bathroom. Eh, this one don't look too bad. I don't think OPA's been in there. Yeah, they put gas, uh, knockout gas in here. Poisonous gas. So if you ain't got your defenses all up, not. Just scanning the place for extra stuff. A pink phone. Just start scanning the little question marks. Hmm. Does all these apartments come with hidden rooms and stuff? Like this? Look at this. Scan that grate. apartments come with another hidden room? Nice selling point. Look at all this. A rental agreement for a storage locker. That'll come in handy later. It's for you! I told you not to call me at work. So OCP is ordering you to break into the apartment of a reporter they don't like? Any comment before I write a story on that? I am here to investigate domestic terrorism. OCP sent you to my safe house because they want to know what I have on them after the bank incident. I assume there is more if you cannot store everything here. 
I found a rental bill for a locker in a storage facility. Make up your mind. First you let me go at the bank, and now, when I'm actually starting to figure out what the OCP scam is all about, you show up and ruin this. Do you want to help OCP avoid liability? I should have arrested you then. We could cut that up. Does a well-intentioned criminal stop being a criminal? <sighs> You're in a philosophical mood. Adorable. It turns out I was right. That thing that OCP plans to do with charging residents of old Detroit with additional costs? It is a loophole. It will lead to the illegal expulsion of thousands of people if you help OCP silence me. Explain. Not so fast. I need to be able to trust you first. At the bank, you proved that you are more than just a tool programmed to obey OCP, but now the stakes are higher. What is it that you expect? Since you're here, I fully expect someone from OCP to go and check my locker. I need to protect what's inside, but there's a meeting I need to keep an eye on. Too much depends on it. I will not be involved in the smuggling of contraband. There's nothing illegal about my request. I need only one box from there. The one with the inscription, Bakery on the Corner. The rest you can leave to OCP to pick up. I need to just spring clean my out-of-date documents anyway. Call me once you secure the box. Okay. So that's another mission we're going to be doing um, tomorrow. I'm recording this on a Wednesday, but I'll put it out on Thursday, and the one I'll do, do on a Thursday and put it out on a Friday. There you go. Why not? Whoop. I missed the box. There goes a mark on my grade. I just seen it now. I didn't see if I was reporting it. Oh, wow. But we got that. More upgrades for our gun. Shut that dog up! Somebody give that dog a bone or something. Steak? Uh, this is a rat hole, to say the least. We'll look around in a second. No. The stench in here. Shut up, dog. Here we go, outside. All right, this is it. Here we go. So, that. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. As always, we'll make more. Feel free to leave a mature comment. Want to see more videos like this or others that are on the channel? Don't be shy. Please like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Venture? Livestream? What have you? S -s 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 see ya! Bye-bye!